Why does it seem that some people can leap and bound forward while you're stuck behind? Let me demystify that today so you can move forward. All right, well, let's get into it. There are so many amazing, successful people out there. And the more we watch them, the more we start to question and wonder, how the heck do they get there? If you've ever been watching someone that you admire, or even just looking at someone else's success portfolio, and having those little secret thoughts in the back of your head like, oh my god, I'll never reach up to how they are, I'll never measure up, I could never do what they do, or how the heck did they get there so fast? Oh my gosh, this is such a long, drawn out process. Well, you're definitely not alone. And this is something that happens to all of us who are success oriented and really wanna get the most out of life. I completely understand you. Let me share with you a little story actually. And this was back when I first started one of my very first businesses, which was a dance school for adults. I remember I was comparing myself to every single other instructor in the whole city. And I would compare how I talked, how I spoke to my clients, how I would teach my clients. I would talk about you know, one thing and then I would go back and compare it to all the other students and all the other schools and it just was a mess at times because it was all in my head, most of it. So how did I stop comparing? Well, one of the first things that I definitely recognized was the act of comparing always had me thinking and feeling things worse about myself than when I started. So I felt discouraged. I felt disempowered. I felt like I was becoming stuck. And on top of that, I started thinking really terrible things about myself, like I'll never make it, I'll never have what they have, and I'll have to keep on giving up things just to get what I want to get. And noticing how unproductive these thoughts and feelings were, I knew that I needed to reshift and reframe. So I wanna share those tips with you now. Tip number one, seek for inspiration not comparison. So with comparison, you'll notice right away how you feel and what you're thinking about yourself is negative and unproductive. And so you know that you're gonna be seeking inspiration if you feel the certain things in your body, which is you begin to get energized, you begin to smile more, you begin to actually celebrate whatever it is that you're watching and personalizing it in your own personal experience. So really seek to be inspired. Get yourself into the feeling of being lit up, being passionate again, getting energized, all of these different things. And allow yourself the freedom and flexibility to really be who you are and who you could be starting now compared to who you were yesterday versus trying to be somebody else. Tip number two, measure your progress. And so with this, you really want to keep track of all the things that you're doing really well. Keep track of every goal that you've accomplished and keep track of your daily progress. Especially with my clients, I have them actually log in and create Google documents on a daily basis that they can journal and measure their progress. And it's really helpful because then they're able to compare not who they are to someone else, but who they were today and who they were yesterday and actually notice the incremental change. When you focus on growth and when you focus on your progress, you're actually creating the small components of a leap and bound over small daily actions. Oh, remember how I said I wanted to help you move forward today? Well, guess what? I actually have a free download for you of a template of that exact little document that I create for all my clients that you can have now too. So don't forget to download by clicking below. Tip number three, create a plan. Now, one of the things that I've actually noticed as well is sometimes we are watching other people because we actually want to do what they're doing. And so you don't have to actually be shaming yourself for comparing yourself to someone who's actually doing the things that you want to do. So instead, you can actually look at their biographies or even look at their success plans and use that as a benchmark for yourself. If that is not the case, and you're just really looking at yourself and your own progress, then create a plan which will allow you to continue moving forward while measuring the progress that we just talked about in tip number two. So what should your plan include? Well, whenever I got really awesome results for myself and my clients, I always made sure that they had number one, a clearly defined goal. It should also include what you expect to feel at the end of that goal. Number three, we need a timeline. So typically, what I always use for my own timelines is I like to pan out maybe 30, 60, 90 days out in front of me, and what can I realistically achieve within that time frame? And so I might not achieve the entire big goal, but I can achieve components of the goal by breaking it up into small steps and creating a timeline for those. 
It should also include who is going to help you. You know, one of the reasons why so many people who look like they're leaping and bounding is because they have dream teams. They have people in their back corner, behind the scenes, helping out, or at least doing the things that they're not a genius at. And so put in there as well who you want to help. And because we're talking about success and beyond, it's not just about achieving these goals, it's really about who you're becoming in the process of achieving these goals. So here's a secret ninja tip for you. In the overall plan for whatever it is that you're going to be doing, life still happens. So I always like to include in my plan a daily routine, a way to start my morning and a way to end my night. This can include gratitude, journaling, this can include reaching out to friends and family and sharing your successes. This can also include exercise and meditation. Whatever works for you is what's gonna work for you, but really creating the daily routine for the morning and the evening. All right, let's sum it up here. Why is it that some people leap and bound while you remain stuck? Well, number one, it's because they seek to be inspired and they don't compare. Number two, they measure their own progress compared to themselves, not compared to someone else who is before and beyond them. And then number three, they actually create plans. They create plans that work backwards starting from where they want to be starting today. And the secret ninja tip, those successful people who are leaping and bounding actually have daily routines for their morning and their nighttime. As your success coach, I'm here to help you experience mini breakthroughs every time you watch so that you can get shit done and have your fun. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because you're gonna be getting new videos every single week. And share it with your friends. Thanks.